Now, before we begin, I'd like to inform you that the Worm Farming Revolution book is available in a paperback, ebook, and Amazon Kindle. It's the largest practical worm farming guide to date and in color. Other publications by Polly Picciarolo are Worm Farming Revealed Secret Recipe, My Personal Recipe and Methodology for Growing Large, High Yielding, and Pest Resistant Plants, the completely editable Worm Farming PowerPoint presentation. Now you can present the benefits of worm farming and speak with authority. The Worm Farming Coloring and Activity ebook. Download the book, print as many pages as you want, and get kids excited. The free Worm Farming PDF guide as a newsletter subscriber or available to view at the website. And lastly, the Beneficial's two-hour screenplay. All proceeds go towards getting this screenplay to producers and studios who are looking to educate and entertain the world through nature. Download the Beneficial's pitch deck and the one-minute trailer in the link below. Check out the Amazon merch if you'd like to support the message of healthy living soil. Let's begin. This publication is copyrighted. All photos are the property of the author. No reproduction of any kind, including screenshots, are prohibited unless given permission. Introduction So why am I a worm farmer? I told my family that I didn't want to be remembered as a worm farmer. I mean, how glorious is that? Instead, I'd rather be remembered for helping others find a way to live a healthier life. But it all starts somewhere. Gardens don't just happen. You can't simply sow a seed and expect to reap bountiful fruit without the proper knowledge of how to care for it. And it all starts with the soil. But soil doesn't just happen either. Even the soil has its beginnings. And that starts with a tiny little creature known as the worm. A gardener's best friend. We all live in a continuous, perpetual world that's constantly revolving and renewing itself every single day. The health of a plant starts at its roots, in the soil. Healthy soil is lively and teeming with trillions of microorganisms all harmonizing together. But where do all these tiny organisms come from? Well, one place is from the gut of a worm. And the worm received its nutrition from... Once again, a plant that has run its cycle. Out of all these living organisms, who deserves the credit? The plant, the microbes, or the worm? Well, what about us? Where do we fit into this equation? The truth is, we don't. Plants, microbes, and worms existed long before we ever did. They were well orchestrated by a conductor who knew exactly what he was doing thousands of years ago. They didn't need us to help them become something they already were, and they definitely didn't need us to make them into something they weren't created to be. No. Instead, we were created to merely benefit from this perpetual blessing set into motion so long ago. Just like little kids playing jump rope, we only need to step in. When we all can learn how to step in and follow the motion already set into play, Instead of recreating something that only goes against the grand design, will we finally realize a longer, healthier, and richer life is waiting for us each and every day? If you want to change your life for the better, all you need to do is step in. So maybe it does start somewhere, and maybe that somewhere starts with you. I guess this is why I'm a worm farmer. This book will teach you just about everything you'll ever need to know about raising composting worms. But hold on. This book is more than just about raising worms. I'll teach you that worms are the master soil builders in order for plants to have the best foundation for growth, health, and yields. Worms are like master bricklayers. They lay the building blocks that are so crucial for a great foundation like that of the Great Pyramids. This book teaches you how to be successful with the plants because if you can get the soil right, then you will get the plant right. There's way too much misinformation online. Most people truly have a passion, but there are some that are full of fluff and hype. I'll help you slow down and learn at your own pace instead of having to sort between fact or fiction. You're learning from an experienced gardener and worm farmer. I've left my failures behind, but have gleaned much from them to bring you this book. I'll also share some of my friends with you. Not the little squirmy ones, the ones who have a lot of knowledge and experience just like me. You may also just be interested in raising worms for fishing, recycling to keep waste out of the landfills, want to raise pet food, or want to turn your hard clay soil into a rich amended growth medium. 
Maybe you'd like to start up your own small business or have a desire for the love of nature and would like to educate others within your community. Whatever your desire is, you'll find it right here in the Worm Farming Revolution. Food prices are rising and the thought of growing our own food seems only logical and choosing the right fertilizer that is healthy that won't burn the plant is paramount. If you think raising worms is gross and smelly and takes a lot of work, you've never raised any. Worms are actually the easiest pet in the world to take care of, other than a pet rock, of course. As a matter of fact, I think it's the other way around. They take care of you through the use of their nutrient-rich poop. And the smell? If you've ever smelled fresh-tilled dirt, then you've stuck your head deep inside the dark, moist boughs of a rotting worm bin. As concerns about chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and global climate continues to escalate, more and more people are turning back to healthier, natural, and proven organic methods of growing their own food. Even as the economy continues to be uncertain, people want to rely on something that's been stable for years and will be stable for years to come. If you're like me, you have a peaked interest in giving back to the land while giving your body the nutrition it needs. Chemical fertilizers strip the land of vital nutrients and healthy organisms that plants flourish from. The focus of this book is to inform gardeners and plant growers about the alternatives of pesticides and chemical fertilizers. Raising worms can benefit you, the plant, and the land. It's not rocket science. Worm farming can be utilized from kids to the avid gardener in several different ways. You will see photos, links to pages, and links to videos on how to start up and maintain your very own worm farm for little to no cost. It's broken down for you in the simplest form so that you have all the tools necessary for starting your own worm farming bin. Other websites and books sometimes aren't very clear or don't go deep enough. I want you to know everything I know about living a healthier life and getting the best out of the land by giving the best back to the land. If you're using regular compost, decomposed grass, leaves, kitchen scraps, etc., and not what worms can compost for you even faster, you're missing out, and your plants are too. If you were to ask anyone off the street or even your next-door neighbor, Hey, what's vermicomposting? They'll most likely say, Vermi what? You may be able to find it all over the internet, but compared to common fertilizers, it still hasn't gained the attention it deserves, even among organic gardeners. But that's quickly changing. It's hard to comprehend how much of an easy and sustainable concept of growing worm castings or worm poop is and how it has not been more scrutinized in the past. However, it is pleasing to know that it's becoming more popular thanks to people like you and myself. Vermicomposting is still relatively new. There are rising concerns about pollution and toxic landfills which have sparked the desire in many to recycle and control waste. A typical landfill will take years to reclaim waste but worms can reduce waste in a matter of months or even days. Now, I'm not saying to throw a bunch of worms into a landfill and start growing corn. It would certainly be too toxic to the worms, the corn, and us. But what if each of us were to feed the worms our kitchen scraps like corn, lettuce, coffee, cardboard, and paper towels? It would be returning to the land in a reusable, rich, organic form that we can all benefit from instead of just sitting around and leaking toxins. If we all play a tiny role in feeding worms our garbage, together we all create a motion picture in restoring and reclaiming the land and living a healthier life. Well, that's what worm farming is to me. So, the next time you decide to throw it in the trash or run it through the disposal, throw it to the worms. Your plants will be glad the worms will be glad, and you will be too. Worm castings. It's not a dirty little secret anymore. Quote, Polly Picciarillo.